Here we are, ladies and gents, back with another comments play video. This is everything that you need to know for season 14, Scorpio, coming November the 24th. Before we get into the video, though, hit that subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date with the latest and greatest of Conqueror's Blade. So then, this has just been officially announced today, the next season for Conqueror's Blade, and we are going to be going into the kind of Persian era of assassins and all things fun. Now, this was predicted by a fair few people in the last week after the teasers and stuff that we had dropped to us last week. I kind of went the other way and kind of got it wrong, but my bad. But I did think it was going to be a kind of assassin type thing, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to say I, I kind of... Yeah, guessed it. Uh, <laughs> so with it, we are going to be getting a whole host of new things. Now, you are going to be wanting to stay tuned to this video because I am going to describe everything we are getting, everything that has been officially announced so far, plus three preview events and Twitch Drops campaigns coming along with those preview events and a few other bits and bobs you are going to be wanting to keep an eye on. Things like the two battle passes that I am going to be giving away at some point in the next week as well. I will describe everything in this video of how of what you need to do to actually enter for that. So then, season 14 for Conqueror's Blade Scorpio season, like I said, has just been officially announced. With it, we are getting the first new weapon class in quite a while, and this is the Chain Dart and Scimitar. Now, I believe this is going to be a light armor class. We are going to be diving into this as much as we possibly can in the uh, preview events, but we will not be getting a full exploration of this uh, new weapon into one of the later preview events because of... Uh, obviously is not unlocking until a little bit further into the season so the season will be dropping on the 24th and that with it will be bringing three new units as usual a blue a purple and a gold of which i will describe to you in just a second however this new weapon class will not be unlocking until december the 8th but as soon as it does i will be trying to unlock it as quickly as i can and then showing everything off about it i will show off as much as i can in the preview events for it as well so we are gonna like i said be getting three new units this is the jangjus i'm definitely gonna pronounce some of this wrong i'm very sorry but the jangjus which is the three star which is a faction specialised in melee and close range combat. Using scimitars and throwing knives, they fight fiercely in the face of an unstoppable enemy army with unshakable bravery. Our four star is going to be the Camel Lancers, an elite cavalry seen as a symbol of military might, though their speed may be not match horses. Well, that's definitely not being translated right. Their stamina is unrivaled. And finally, the five stars, so the Hasha Hashins. Dangerous, elusive, determined, the Hasha Hashins are trained in agility and stealth, allowing them to sneak attack any foe with their guard down. So I think it's going to be a bit of a stealthy kind of unit, so it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of works out as we go through. Revamped maps, we are getting two revamped maps, this being Kurok Castle and Regionopolis. They apparently have been remapped, uh, remapped and revamped with brand new features. So it's going to be interesting to see actually what that brings with it as well. Obviously, a brand new seasonal campaign with a brand new season pass or battle pass, which is what I'm going to be giving away at some point during this video. Uh, territory will stay in the same. However, the final fight this season is going to be in Dai Shang. We are going to be starting in either the Borderlands and Anadulu, and then finally Dai Chang, or the capital with Dai Chang, which is, I think, Ling Yong. I may be totally wrong, but I think it's that one. Uh, it will be unlocking later on in the season. Obviously, with the Battle Pass, now the two I'm going to be giving away are going to be pre order Battle Passes, or if I can figure out a way to do that, I'm going to do that. If not, I'm going to just send you the money for them. But this will actually, or this, these are available right now. If you buy this Battle Pass before November the 24th, not only will you be getting the Battle Pass, you'll get two times greater Scrolls of Glory, you will get 10 times Unit Medals, 50,000 Bronze Coins, and a Treatise as well. Going into the treatise, now this is probably the biggest kind of change I think coming for the season. The doctrine changes. So we are going to obviously be getting different doctrines, we're going to be getting new doctrines, but we're also going to be getting a new way to get to doctrines as well. And that is going to be the new doctrine alchemy system. So 
from what I've read and from what I've seen and everything so far, it is going to be a system where you can actually combine older doctrines into brand new ones and it's going to be a really interesting system to try and figure out and find the best way about it. So going a little bit more into this, uh, starting with the upcoming season will provide a new way to earn doctrines. You'll be able to exchange the new season's item doctrine spirit in the exchange menu for the doctrines that we want. You'll be able to exchange one doctrine spirit for one epic doctrine. The types available will be based on the season's phase and we'll have more to reveal about doctrines in the next season closer to launch. So really interesting system, quite looking forward to actually seeing how this is going to work. Uh, you'll be able to acquire two doctrine spirits every season so it looks like it's going to be a system going on into future seasons. The acquisition cap of Doctrine Spirits resets with each season, so you can acquire two each season. You can get one Doctrine Spirit while reaching tier 100 in the season's battle pass, and one by completing the fifth stage of the season's five star unit challenge. So with this we'll obviously be able to unlock two per season, if there's nothing that you want that season just save it, it will carry over onto the next season. We are also going to be getting the uh, Doctrine Fusion, so I'm just going to read this word for word. Have you ever found yourself opening your inventory only to see it full of doctrines few of which are usable apart from taking up bag space low level duplicate or old doctrines don't serve any purpose the new doctrine fusion system should give you a new use for your old doctrines that are simply gathering dust doctrine fusion allows you to use your old unwanted doctrines to create new ones for example if you've got a couple of resource doctrines in your inventory but don't really gather them in the open world then you can use these to create a completely new doctrine or if you've got plenty of rare and uncommon ones just gathering dust you can use these to create a new one important the doctrines you create cannot be obtained from tree ties so they are going to be brand new exclusive doctrines from the doctor infusion system there is also a new item doctrine components so we know how difficult it can be to get doctrines so we've added a new type of doctrine components if you've got doctrines you don't want to part with you can use doctrine components of an equal quality as materials in their place thereby earning more powerful doctrines there are plenty of ways to acquire doctrine components such as matchmaking battles territory war events racing your battle pass level and through the fame store by not making it available in the store we want to encourage you all to earn it during your daily battles and conquests we're really excited about this new system we'll keep an eye on community feedback and continue to adjust the doctor infusion going forward to ensure as great an experience as possible some of you may not have kept either tree types or doctrines meaning you can't try out the new feature when it drops however we're prepared a gift awaiting for you on the new season simply log in every day once the new season hits to earn 50 ancient tree types. wow 50 a day and join the event that reduces the consumption of lotus water wow that is that's huge we're going to be getting 50 tree types, i believe a day well that might be over the course of the login event but either way that is mad 50 that we can exchange for doctrines plus all the new kind of stuff with the doctrine system as well really interesting to see this this is kind of the thing that's excited me the most at the minute this plus the new runes. Obviously, we're going to be getting new runes in the new season as well. Just to see actually uh, what kind of things and what kind of class is going to be the top class for this season. Um, that is pretty much it so far. We haven't got too much more information at the minute. Uh, the only other information we got is about the preview event. So I'm just going to describe all three preview events for you. So November the 18th, so this Friday, we have a first session preview event where we can explore the Doctor and Fortune system and other general updates. The CMs will be doing an official stream after which us content creators will then get access to the PTR server and we can go on there and kind of explore as much as we possibly can. November the 23rd, session number two, the se second session beginning at 1730 CET will be focused on exploring all the new maps that are coming in the Scorpio season. Content creators and staff will play in a series of matches on the PTR server. Uh, we expect three to five matches during this session so we can have a proper good exploration of the maps and everything. It will, I believe, be over on the official channel, but we will be able to stream that onto our personal channels as well. 
So the third session, December the 6th at the moment, is going to be the uh, is going to be happening after the season has released. However, we will be able to actually preview new content such as the new weapon class at that point. So if you are interested in this new weapon class, then put December 6th in your calendar. That's when we get to properly explore it. That is pretty much everything we have got up until this point. As soon as I know more, as soon as I hear more, of course I will put out more videos for you. However, I am sure you are still here because you want to know how to win a battle pass. So I'm going to be giving away two battle passes this season or the monetary equivalent value of those battle passes so you can go off and buy one. So what you need to do is go down into the description box. There is going to be a gleam uh, link in there for you to follow it will just get you to subscribe on YouTube follow on Twitch follow me on TikTok. obviously the more things that you do the more chances you get the better your overall percentage chance of winning uh, so the more you can do there will be daily stuff on that gleam I uh, gleam there will be daily tasks on that gleam as well so that each day keep on coming back and you'll be able to enter for more and more stuff uh good luck to all of you that do enter i will be announcing the winner probably about the 20th so you've got a few days then to go off and buy the battle pass so you've just got less than a week to enter i will be announcing the winners on discord if you are not yet part of my discord go over onto it because i will be expecting a response if you are drawn as one of the winners you will need to respond to me within a certain amount of time or it will be rolled over so make sure you are joining me over on discord as well again link down in the description box below for you thank you very much to everybody that has watched what are your thoughts on the new season? Is it what you were hoping? Were you expecting something chaos? Let me know all of your thoughts and everything down below. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, all that lovely fan doobie dust and stuff. Good luck to everybody that enters the giveaway. And I will catch you out in the desert.